As a public defender, Judge Karen fought for her client's rights. She was elected to the bench because she believes in doing the right thing. I'm very passionate about helping people, period. Sometimes life pulls you from up here to down here to teach you a lesson, and you're in a valley right now. There are lessons in this valley. I hope you learn from them. Objective, independent justice. You can always turn your life around. If you keep walking, you can overcome whatever circumstances you're facing. This is Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Sushi restaurant owner Gin Suzuki is suing Nick Mooney in the amount of $121. Mr. Suzuki claims Mr. Mooney took advantage of his all-you-can-eat special, but refused to pay the additional fees for his uneaten food. Mr. Suzuki, you're suing Mr. Mooney for $121, and this has to do with uh, sushi? Yes, ma'am. That is my business. Right. I'm suing... Uh, Mr. Mooney here for $121. Right. Uh, he left without paying, and I'm trying to. He left your back. restaurant without paying a bill for yes, sushi. Yes, ma'am. $121 worth of sushi, ma'am. Okay, so uh, had you been to this restaurant before the incident? No, Your Honor, I've never okay. been to so this Okay, so what sushi brought you restaurant. to his restaurant? Well, I'm a bodybuilder and a social media influencer, and I was driving. These and influencers, I'm... I get one every day. <laughs> Right, well, so how many followers do you have? Well, I would like to say I'm trying to become Oh, you're an trying to be your influencer so I, wannabe. Exactly. So you wanted to go to his restaurant for what purpose? I wanted to eat at this man's restaurant for the all-you-can-eat sushi. Oh, because he offers all-you-can-eat sushi. Yes. Well, aren't there a lot of all-you-can-eat sushi restaurants around? Uh, I'm not sure. I think so, yeah. Okay, but why did you choose his? because of the proximity to the place where I live. Oh, okay, he was closed. Yes. Okay, so you have a buffet, all you can eat sushi. No, it's just a sushi restaurant. We have all you can eat only on Mondays. Only, only on Mondays. Mondays. And yeah. how and much does, does a person pay for that? It's only $28 per $28, person. $28, yes, all you can eat. High quality sushi, man. Okay, and high quality sushi, is it good sushi? It was okay, but the point is, the, he was charging me $121 at right. the end, so apparently right. it's not $28 well, for all I'm you can trying to understand how it started, though. You started, uh, you paid, $28. I actually paid $35. I gave him a tip. Okay. And you that was a Tuesday. You went there and was, you... Yes, I believe it was a Monday, actually. I thought... Was it Monday? It was a Monday. It was a Monday. However, the, there are regulations that you have to follow. Okay. On, on If you want to eat all you can eat sushi. Right. There's some there rules. rules. Yes, ma'am. Okay. There are only three simple rules. Also and it's, three rules. Yes, ma'am. Can't take any home. You can't take any home. Apparently, That's, it's all you can eat sushi with rules let me, uh, well, let me hear the rules. Well, we know you can't take it home. Yes. That's and then it has to be dining. You and have then... to eat it at well, the same thing. You can't take it home? <laughs> okay. So rule one and two are kind of the same. Yeah. And then, and then rule the number two. Be, no, third rule. That, that's the two rules. We yeah. just wanted to break it simple for right, our customers. Okay. So the third then, one is? Third one is like you can't leave uh, your food on, like you can't order much sushi as you can. Right. But you have to finish it. What's on your plate? Yeah. So it's not a buffet where you go mm -hmm. up and eat. It's like, okay, I'm going to order blah, 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 blah. You bring me that. Mm -hmm. And when I finish eating that, I say, okay, now I want an order, blah, 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 exactly. blah, blah. Did but you understand then you that? You cannot leave. Did the you leftovers. understand those rules? Well, when I went to no, get. No, did you understand the rules when you started? So, somewhat, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. The rules were in very small print at the bottom of the menu. Of the menu. And Do they you have also the menu? Your Honor, yes, they also, Let me yes see the I have menu. the menu. They also weren't wait, wait, wait. advertised in the There's advertisement on the radio. There's always small print on all you can yeah, eat. On the radio, exactly. you have the exactly. all you on the radio they weren't like, it's all you can eat what? sushi, but we have these three rules that you have to have. Any time somebody says something is free or is it all you can eat, it's usually some small print somewhere. I, no I sharing. But I Please still don't... don't remove the sushi. Leftover items will not be allowed to be taken home. Leftover will be charged the regular price. That's where we're in a little bit of a discrepancy. What does that mean, leftover will be charged the regular price? So since our sushi are right. really expensive to even make it right. with, with from the uh, first place, right. we tell the customers that you're supposed to finish your plate and order another. So you can keep going and eat much as you want right. because we do not want but to leave. But if I got to my plate number three, let's say, mm -hmm. I don't like sushi like that, but say I'm on plate three, mm -hmm. and now I'm like, dang, I thought I could finish this and I can't finish it, you're going to charge me for what's on the plate? Yes, ma'am. However, we are giving in four pieces per plate instead right. of 10. Right. Uh, sushi restaurants usually give 10 pieces for okay. $12, but right. then for all you can eat, we 
made uh, made it like small portion. Four pieces. Yes, ma'am. So people could just eat much as they want in a small by small so quantity. So tell me what was happening in the statement. Okay, well, so I ordered 10 rolls at first, right? right? And their waitress gives me total attitude, like, right. are you going to eat 10 rolls at a time? Right. And they have an hour time limit, right? Oh, so <laughs> there's another room yeah, you forgot to like tell you. It's like you keep You've got to finish eating things. it all in an hour. Yes. Wow. Okay. And it Your took Honor, them 30 minutes to bring out the first set of rolls. It took 30 minutes. Well, yeah. shouldn't it be an hour from when you get your food? Yes, ma'am. That's exactly okay, what it is. Okay, so he says yeah, it's an that, hour. The, the menu doesn't to say that it However, just says one hour time I, limit I it listen doesn't to say you. one I hour hear him. from when you get your food okay so you got your food 30 minutes so later how many rolls minutes. did you get so i'm under the impression that how many rolls did you get 10 you got 10 yes. okay you started eating yeah i'm under the impression i have only 30 minutes to finish that okay so i decide to order another 10 right right as i get the 10 and the right. waitress is giving me attitude. oh because you don't want to be at a happy hour you exactly. don't want to miss it before exactly. it's over at seven o'clock Coming up on Supreme Justice. I paid the all-you-can-eat fee, yeah. and there may have been some rolls. How many right. pieces of sushi were left on the table? 14 total. Yeah, he had 14 pieces. 14 pieces. That couldn't have been $121. And later. You also told me you agreed to take care of Spike while she was gone. You're if it's our dog, then we don't have to have an agreement that you're going to take care of anything. This is our dog. It's expected that you're going to take care of Spike. Closed captioning provided by... If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Gin Suzuki, who is suing Nick Mooney for an unpaid bill. So when's the first time somebody's told about this whole one hour rule and when the clock starts? I am the uh, part owner of this restaurant, and then I train my waitresses to make sure they tell the customers uh -huh. before they start Is your waitress food. here? She's not here oh, today. Okay. But I am 100% sure that I heard her saying that it's one, one hour time limit. As soon as he it's gets his first- It's still hearsay. I don't care if you overheard it, it's still hearsay. You should have brought her in here because he's telling me nobody told him about, explain when that hour starts. So you're saying after you got your first 10, you were worried that you weren't going to finish 10. It's going to take you 30 minutes to eat 10 rolls? I was worried, yes. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to order any more sushi within the hour time limit. Right, but you had whole... 30 minutes in your mind, and you yeah. didn't think you could finish 10 sushi rolls in 30 minutes? Well, I mean, I didn't want to, like... You I wanted to enjoy it. everything, right, really. Okay. So what happens? You tell her I want another 10. So I tell her I want another 10. Okay. And she's just treating me like, you know, terribly. She's, you know, I feel like she's giving me attitude. Right. I feel like she thinks I'm just some big, dumb bodybuilder, which is definitely not the case. Right. So she brings me out another 10. So she bought you 10 more. Yeah, but it took another 25 minutes. Right. So at Your this point. Your hour was up. At this point, yeah, my hour is well, up. Well, had you finished the first 10? Yes. Okay, you finished and the that, first 10. Yes, and that's when I... Were you there? That's when I meet yes, I was him. You're still there. Yeah. That's, okay. when I, that's when I meet him because as the second 10 come out... As they come and out. And I start eating those, right. I want to order another 10. Right. And this guy's like, you can only order five more. So what happened? Why is it now he could only order five more? Okay, um, so he had 10 sushi plates at first, 10 rolls. He finished them, and then he got 10 rolls again, and he did not finish most of the food on the plates no and i did tell him through my waitress right. that he it's going to be charged if he doesn't finish them so he okay. was taking advantage of all you can eat system and he wasted this food right which got me kind of so how did that end up being 121 dollars so every plate that has a little bit or like one or two pieces uh -huh. left over we charge 12 dollars. we charge the regular price he charged me for leaving very little amounts of sushi left on the table, which I think is ridiculous. I paid the all-you-can-eat fee, right. and there may have been some rolls. How many where I, pieces of sushi were left on the table? Not that many. There I, may how, have been, how many there may were have been left? Some rolls that I didn't eat the how rice. How many were left? Fourteen total. Yeah, yeah, he had fourteen pieces. Fourteen pieces. That couldn't have been one hundred and twenty-one dollars. Two. There. I don't, don't take. 14 pieces of sushi is not $121. You can do tell me whatever you want to tell me until you turn red in the face, but that's not $121. That's not why for 14 we... pieces of sushi on a $28.95 buffet. It's not a buffet. It's a sushi restaurant with all you can eat only on Mondays with high quality ingredients. However, is this your TV commercial you do for you? The... <laughs> but your honor, okay. that's the reason why do we I, tell. Were you asked to leave? Well, 
he goes ahead and stereotypes me because I have muscle. I guess right. he's going to think that I'm, you know, I'm going to cause you trouble. At, why can't he called the police on me. He called the police. You called the police. Before I could before I could even do anything, you call he the calls police? the police. Your Honor, he was arguing with my waitress, and he was being... Do you being, call the police on everybody who argues? He was being aggressive. Okay. And then the, the police officers who usually come around our plaza right. to, you know, check up on us right. were near my place, so I called them for help just in case. So what did case. they do, if anything? Did they Nothing, do anything? Just, just two, two officers came through to okay. make sure and everything so was safe. Okay, so he left without paying anything? No, did I, you paid, pay? I paid the fee and a tip. I gave $35 okay, in cash. Okay, right. You Honor, paid $35. Your Honor, not to if mention, I remember correctly, he did not he pay that police. amount. Oh, let me just say Say this to you. This thing is very, un very confusing. This menu. Uh, don't remove the sushi rice. Uh, Twelve dollars minimum. Wait a minute. If there is a sushi bar because it says sushi bar minimum. Your Honor, I brought the copy of receipt. Would you like to see? No. It? Sushi bar minimum twelve dollars. Well, you know what that is. Leftover items would not be allowed to be taken home. But there will be a charge at a regular price. Wait a second. If you're not going to allow me to take this home, then you can't charge me for leaving it with you. You're basically saying, I can't, okay, I'm going to take the rest of this home with me. No, no, you want. You're going to leave it here and pay me for having left it? You can't have your cake and eat it, too. Your it, Honor. You need it to be clearer in your menu. Should be at the very top there, not at the bottom. That's what why our waitresses tell the customers. I don't care what your waitresses are told. They're not even here to tell me what they're told. Okay? <laughs> so it should be on your menu. And, and number two, it really doesn't make any sense. You can't say you can't take it with you. And at the same time, I'm going to pay you to leave it here. You got to pay me to leave it here. It doesn't make sense. I'm ready to rule. Judgment for the defendant. Good luck to you both. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been denied. Thanks to you, there's no more all you can eat on Mondays. You won't even have to worry about me ever going there again. <laughs> Coming up. Let me stop you. You were going to take care of Spike for six months. Yes, sir. Whether the relationship was going on or not, it was a six month agreement for you to take care of Spike, right? No, Spike, the agreement was that Spike is my dog. No, that no, was no. not the agreement. Wait, wait, stop. I don't need you to do my job. Closed captioning provided by. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Alexa Peters is suing her ex-boyfriend, Curtis Dixon, in the amount of $400. Ms. Peters claims Mr. Dixon took care of her dog while she was out of town and says he refused to return the animal after they broke up. Ms. Peters, you're suing Mr. Dixon for $400, which represents the value of a dog. And you're also suing for specific performance. Basically, you're asking that he return the dog. Yes. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So we were in a relationship, sir? Yes, we were. How long were we together? Two years. Two years. And did we live together? We did. How long did you live together? Um, two years. So there was a dog you, pur you purchased? There's a dog Spike. that he gifted to me I for a two-year an anniversary. On the two-year anniversary, mm -hmm. he, ga he gave you Spike. What kind of dog is Spike? It's a He's golden a retriever. Golden retriever. Oh, okay. So you told me you were together two years, and you said that the dog was a two-year anniversary gift. So what happened? I got um, a business opportunity in Atlanta. Uh -huh. and How uh, soon after the dog gift? Three months after. Okay. Yeah, so we were living together with the dog for about three months, and then okay. I got this opportunity and had to leave town for about six months to pursue this. Right, so how'd you feel about her going off for six months to Atlanta? You know, uh, I knew it would be inevitable with her career pursuit. So what was the understanding you had with him when you left Atlanta about the dog? The understanding was that he would watch Spike until I got back. And you knew she was gone for six months. Yes, I knew, but the understanding was that I would take care of Spike. Right. Uh, we broke up about a month after she left. Right. And then I continued taking care of Spike. Right, and but you were going to take care of the understanding. Let, let me that stop you. You were going to take care of Spike for six months. Yes, Your Honor. Whether the relationship was going on or not, it was a six month agreement for you to take care of Spike, right? No, Spike. The agreement was that Spike is my dog. No, that no, was no. not the agreement. Wait, wait, stop. I don't need you to do my job. Coming up. Did you send some money for food and care for the absolutely. dog? She did not. She didn't send a dime. I absolutely, wait, absolutely did. She absolutely. didn't send a dime. I paid rent. Absol Let me see rent. your proof. Absolutely. Closed captioning provided by. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. 
Supreme Justice is back with the case of Alexa Peters, who is suing Curtis Dixon for property loss. You told me Spike was a gift, so we're past that. And you also told me you agreed to take care of Spike while she was gone. You're if it's our dog, then we don't have to have an agreement that you're going to take care of anything because it's our dog. It's expected that you're going to take care of Spike. But then a month after she left, who broke up with who? I broke up with her. And why would you break up with her? Because it just wasn't working. A and, month and later? Would. Yeah, but I mean, I knew that this was just symptoms of things to come. Okay, so then what happened? So then um, he ended things. I returned to L.A. a few months Six months, months later? Ago. Yeah. Okay. And um, I tried to get the dog back. He kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. He has literally not let me see in Spike until wow. since I so left. So your position is that he's your dog now? Yep, Your Honor, the dog has known me its whole life. Right. It recognizes me as its owner, as its as its father. I would like right. the opportunity to find this out for myself. And legally, the dog is mine. The dog is in my name. I have proof. Let me see their proof. Did you send some money for food and care for the absolutely. dog? Absolutely. She did not. She didn't send a dime. I absolutely, Wait, absolutely did. She absolutely. didn't send a dime. I paid rent. Absol Let me see rent. your proof. Absolutely. Your Honor, with me, I have not only medical bills uh, proving that I was the one, the sole person taking care okay, of the dog. Okay, wait, I'm going to get to you in a minute. Okay, so she's got a microchip identifying the dog as belonging to her. Let me see the proof that you sent money for the care of this dog, six months care. I don't have that. Absolutely. Care. I know you got something. Oh, absolutely. I sent money. And you got nothing to show me? Nothing? Judge Karen's verdict when Supreme Justice returns. Promotional consideration provided by. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. You gave the dog as a gift. It was her dog. Mm -hmm. You ag ag agreed to take care of the dog while she was gone. And your responsibility, though, as an owner was to provide the food and the medical care and all of that, which is $610. You got that? Mm -hmm. You happy to pay him? Absolutely. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to have to order that you return the dog to her because it's her dog. But she's got to pay the $610. When can you pay the money? Absolutely. Today. Okay, so she's going to pay the $610 today. And when can you uh, hand over the dog? Whenever she can pick him up. You want me to arrange a time for her, for you to meet her here at the yeah, courthouse with the dog? That'd be best. All right, so she's going to, uh, why don't we do this tomorrow? You come in tomorrow morning. At 10 a.m. with cash, $610, and you're going to bring Spike, and the bailiff will meet you downstairs, okay? Thank you, okay. Your Honor. All right, so really the judgment is for the plaintiff, but on the contingency that she pays you what she owes you, which is the $610. All right, good luck to you both. Judge Karen has ruled the plaintiff is ordered to pay $610. The defendant is ordered to return the dog. I'm really happy the judge is giving me my dog back. Yeah, I really love Spike. I'm really going to miss him. I just hope that you're going to let me see him every now and again. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.